welcome back to my channel. Well, you know, I'm very interested in chat AIs and all these chat bots going on in the industry today. So uh, last week, well, last time, I think two weeks ago, I did a test where I asked um, ChatGPT, uh, Bing AI chatbot, and Google Bard to write a recursive function in Python. And the result was that um, Google Bard was not able to write the code at all. So if you want to watch the video right here, I posted up uh, two weeks ago and you can see the result. So this time, uh, I think just yesterday, we heard, um, well, actually I read the news, there's an article saying that Google Bard is now able to write software code. Uh, let me share you uh, my screen here. We can take a look at artificial intelligence, chatbot Google Bard is now able to help write software code. And that's great news, right? That's what we expect. And you can read the article here in, in full detail, but let's go ahead and see what that can really do. The last time we tested these right here, you can see the same um, instructions. This time I'm gonna rephrase it just a little bit differently. And I hope that this, this will make it much clearer for uh, these AIs. So we're gonna ask to write a recursive function again in Python, accepts two lists of numbers and returns the list that has the least total gaps between the values of its elements, okay? So for example, if we're given list A, uh, one, two, five, nine, and list B, one, two, four, eight, the function should return list B because the total gaps between all the elements is, is only four, as opposed to five and list A. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this same paragraph uh, uh, instructions here and gonna paste it to one of those apps and we'll see what it gives us. So let's go over to chat GPT first. Okay, kind of paste it right in here. And here we go and let's see what happens. Okay, as before, it's really fast. It is re responds right away. And um, looking good. I do like the comments, the documentation, the explanation as well, just like before. Um, okay, wow, it does it even further by it, um, it, it has even it provides a modified version, which is <laughs> very interesting. Uh, and I gave that example, uh, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this. This is the modified version up here. And this is a, a the original version. It doesn't really matter which one, I guess, but you do see that it is a function and it does the recursive call right here and uh, right here. So it uh, looks good. I'm gonna go and just you know load the modified version down here. Okay, so again, this is our base cases. Then, um, so let, let's try this one. I'm gonna copy it, all right? And then go back to the IDE and we'll paste it right above here. And then I'm gonna call it down here. Okay, so what we'll do a um, result is gonna be uh, least gap is put in one and two and print the result. Okay, so let's give it a try and see what happens. Um, uh, well, it does it differently than I want to expect that. Um, uh, let's go back and see what happens. Then not to right. Yeah, it's supposed to print one, two, four. Um, and there's a comma missing here. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so somehow it's not giving me what I wanted, uh, unless it's understanding my uh, insertion incorrectly. Let's try the first one. Okay, let's copy that and go back to this again. I'm going to turn all these off. And we'll add the second, the first, the first one, the same function, least gaps, and in one and two, and okay. And let's see one more time. Okay, so somehow it's like combining the two lists together and it's not doing what it's supposed to do unless it doesn't understand my instruction correctly. Okay, so um, yeah, I. I the expected result should be just the N2 here, right? Uh, it, it's a pending, you know, what was before and then to the, and so it gave us a new list and that's what I want. 
All right, so for some reason, that one does not give what I want. Oh well. Okay, let's try the other one. Let's go to the uh, Bing, um, Bing chat, Bing AI. And here is the Bing chat. I'm gonna again choose the precise mode and ask the same question. And still thinking. So here we go. We'll see if this one understands what's asking. It's short. So um, it seems to be what it's supposed to be. Let's give it a try. Okay, it's much shorter, as you can see. Um, so let's copy this. Is it this one here? Oh, I guess. I'll copy this and go back to the IDE and we're gonna paste it right above here and we'll call it down here just like up before. So our result is gonna be the least gap has in one and two. I'm gonna print the result. Okay, so let's try this one. I'm gonna clear this console and let's see if this is correct. Wow, yay, Bing AI actually understood my question exactly how I want it and returns the correct result. So great job for that one. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the same thing for Google Bard. Okay, so cross your fingers. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm writing here. And so thinking, great, he actually writes code better than last time. And uh, it just throws everything right at me. So it does, a um, provides the, um, you know, PyDocs here, which is good. And our base cases, hmm, okay. Yeah, it doesn't really do the recursive call as I expected. It instead is using a zip function, which is a built-in function in Python that does the recursive call in here, I guess. So it's not uh, understanding what I wanted to do because I want to write its own function like it does here and then call it, right? And then not using a built-in function like zip here. Um, but let's see if this is correct though. I mean, at least it writes the code and returns something what I wanted. Let's, let's copy that and uh, let's give it a try and bar over here. So it's called uh, least gaps, same as before. I'm gonna go right down here. Come on. One and two, and it should return the end two. Okay, so let's clear the list and run. Okay, so it does work, but again, this time it's not really using the function that it created, right? So it's supposed to call the list gap and you know, does it recursively. Instead, is using a for loop um, in here, and you know, we we'll call this a list um, comprehension, which is not what we want. So I'm gonna ask again and say you cannot use the zip and see what happens. Okay, just just curious. Um, rewrite uh, using a um, without list. I'm afraid it's going to use a regular for loop. Yeah, it's still going to use the, the uh, a range function is to use for loop. So um, yeah, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. I mean, it does give me the correct result back because you know this actually works. But then it didn't understand what I mean by using the recursive function that it creates. Maybe I should say use the recursive function that you you know call the function that you create which in this case, um, so I guess it's more like a, a training right, process still, but theoretically it should understand exactly what I wanted. Okay, so what do you think guys? Uh, well, my impression is that ChatGPT is still as fast as before, very quick to um, respond. The downside is that now it actually misunderstood the question and it gave me a wrong answer. I mean, it gave us a, a new list as opposed to returning one of the lists back, right? So that's that's incorrect. Uh, Google Bard, 
huge improvement. It was able to write the function uh, as well as provide some documentations as well. Uh, the only thing is that it uh, did not call the function it created recursively. Instead, it uses a for loop and uh, a, a list comprehension and then you know uh, to do that process for us. So it does give the right result, huge improvement, but it did not understand by what I mean by creating a recursive function and use that function. So I guess still learning in that um, department, but it, it's a huge improvement. And so uh, Bing AI does exactly what I asked and it produced exactly what I um, expected as well. The code is very short and sweet and it does perfect. So the winner for this time is Bing AI Chatbot. Well, thank you and I hope you enjoy. Take care now, bye.